The first of 16 Longy Global Champions Tour Grand Prix of the new 2022 season was held at the Longy Arena in Asha Cup, Doha, Qatar. Uyano Vezzani had the honors to test the best in show jumping, and though he was big on his track, he was quite light on his time allowed. In the end, he sent eight riders through to the jump-off, with Henrik von Eckermann and King Edward sitting as hot favorites, but surprisingly beaten by Ludger Beerbaum and Mila. How and why? Well, let's find out in this edition of the LGCT Grand Prix Analysis. None of the 34 riders in the first round of the Grand Prix got caught by the time lord or caught a time fault. However, of the first 17 riders in the Grand Prix, six straight away went clear and we were all quite afraid that we would have a too big jump off, too large jump off. In the end, only eight went through on clear inside the time allowed. Now, the first round of this Grand Prix, and especially one line, looked very similar to the Grand Prix of 2021 in Doha in Asha Cup. Talking about that line now from 3 to 4 and then to 5 looked very similar with ExxonMobil, the red rails, the difficult jumping red rails sitting by the edge of the arena and then across the diagonal on a right hand bend down the line. Looked very similar like 2021 and we discussed it in this LGCT Grand Prix analysis last year and once again we will discuss it in this year. Ludger Beerbaum had Mila in excellent form throughout the entire weekend. The mare jumped four rounds and didn't make a single fault both in GCL and in the LGCT Grand Prix. Now let's have a look at how Ludger Beerbaum rode that line from three to four to five. It starts here at ExxonMobil, the red rails. Then makes the right hand bend, down the diagonal, the big oxer at 160 wide, then a 1 meter 60 tall vertical, and again 160 out of uh, the combination for Ludger Beerbaum and Mila. He jumped that uh, beautifully. Now, let's have a look at how it sits and how it draws on the map. At the bottom, the uh, turn to ExxonMobil, and then with a little bit of a bend on the inside line, this is the inside line, eight strides to the oxer, and then with, again, a slight bend, you could jump the oxer on the angle, and it's a holding five, but if you came on the inside eight, there was actually the option to jump the oxer with a little bit of angle, jump out of the line, and make the holding five sit a little bit nicer. Now, the holding eight, or the inside eight, you had to ride those eight very specifically, and that is, those eight caused a lot of problems on fence three. Here are a few of those uh, problems that were caused by chasing down the inside eight. It's Gregory Watlet on Cocte de Talma, and you can see, and here the horse jumps to the inside of that line. Now, it was not a specific move of Gregory Watlet to jump to the inside. As a matter of fact, it's more the move of the inexperienced cocktail de Talma to jump away from the edge of the arena, but it shows how exposed that fence three, that vertical of ExxonMobil actually was. More specifically, we'll kind of have a look at the round of Peter Clemens as he comes round from fence two to fence three, the rider of Jos Lansink on Aga Dance van Gelud Z. You can see that here, he steers into the line just at the point of takeoff and also falls to the inside and brings himself close to the vertical and takes the vertical down. Now, on many other verticals, if they would approach it in that way, horses would jump it clean and clear, but those red rails all the way through the history of Ansha Cap, when we've jumped that fence of ExxonMobil, those red rails jump very difficult. It was more of a surprise when the experienced combination of Hansen WL and Peter Fredriksson had a fault on ExxonMobil. Here it comes. Round the turn, the 2021 LGCT champion. And also they have a fault at those uh, difficult red rails, all coming on the inside line for the eight strides. Now, if there's an inside eight, there must be an alternative. Well, here it is. The alternative is to make an outside nine strides. Nine strides do mean that you get straight into the combination, straight to the oxer, and that you have to make sure that you find the room to get those nine strides in that line and then also have enough control for the holding five. Now, the five weren't extremely short, but still they were holding into uh, the combination. Let's have a look at how Ludger Beerbaum with Mila rode that line. And not specifically that line, look at how they jump ExxonMobil. They jo don't jump it to the inside, but specifically jump way to the outside. Beerbaum at the end gives her even more room to the vertical, lands at the outside of the line, jumps it easily, has to ride up 
on nine strides to the oxer and then with a shorter striding Mila it's actually fairly easy for him to have the connection, not fly into the combination and still find room to the first vertical. You need to find the room to the first vertical to climb over the meter 60, but you can't have too much pace either and fly deep into the combination, that would bring you too close to the oxer and put the back rail under threat. Now, there's a few different horses with different strides, different profiles in uh, this round. Let's have a look, for example, at Michael van der Vleuten on Beauville Z. Beauville, who hasn't got the biggest stride, so it's very similar to Mila. But van der Vleuten found himself also a fraction long. Beauville lost the shape, then landed deep into the combination, had to be very quick and couldn't find the final punch and power out of that double landing on the back rail and putting Van der Vleuten there on two faults just over those two fences in uh, the double. Another short striding horse is Z7 Ipswich of Shane Bream. So for Shane, fairly the same situation as for Ludger Beerbaum and Mila. Now, he took real good care of the vertical and then he knew he had to push for the back rail, but as he pushed for that back rail to get across, as he didn't have all the scope the way other horses would have it, Breen pushed for the back rail and also pushed the front rail out. Now, again, different horses, different approaches. Here, for example, is Scott Brash.